I wanted to audition for Britain's Got Talent because it has been her dream and I felt like that was like the ultimate thing we could have achieved for ourselves. Before the audition, I'll say we were nervous. At the same time, we just couldn't wait to share the whole Ghanaian positive energy with everyone and it was a beautiful moment. <laughs> Who have we got here? Um, I'm Pranita and I'm here with Abigail. <laughs> Abigail over here is um, one amazing dancer from Ghana. She was actually born deaf. She got a hearing aid recently, yeah. so yeah. it actually helps her to hear a bit, but only in her left ear. Amazing. Yes. The first time I saw her, I felt so strong, I decided to mentor her. When we walked on the stage, we dropped our flag. We were getting ready, waiting for the music to come. I looked at all the judges. It was like a dream come true because obviously we've watched them on TV, on YouTube for so long and finally I was seeing them in real life. And I became so emotional. The crowd, I was just crying because it was just overwhelming. <laughs> it was overwhelming. Girl, you dangerous like a gun, give them nothing less. Girl, you murder everyone, your love is a killer. Your love is a killer. Performing on that particular day, I really didn't see anyone's face. <laughs> I was just in my own world. I was looking at the judges, the way they were excited. Everyone was on their feet. I was like, wow, that's nice. And her energy that day was something else. It was something else. Because going on, she was nervous. And I kept telling her, like, energy, what? Like those kind of things. When I want to tell her to dance with so much energy, I just say energy, wow. Energy, wow, is like a lot. So, she actually did what I told her and I was proud of her. <laughs> I was so excited. She was excited. We were all emotional. I mean, it was a rush of emotions. Everything was just everywhere. Everyone was happy. Seeing Simon smiling, clapping. Ah, that was something else. <laughs> that was something else. But it was a beautiful moment for both of us. The same final performance, it was a big deal. You were amazing! Yes. What is happening behind me is more important than what I said. The crowd's reaction was something else. When you got it, you got it! The winner of tonight's semi-final going straight through to Sunday's final is... Our unforgettable moment was and will forever be when we announced the winners for the semi finals that evening. I'll never forget that day, that, that moment, and nah, I was so unreal. It was beautiful. <laughs> I'll say my favorite thing throughout this whole PGT journey, for both of us actually, has been that moment on the stage, showing the world what we've got, showing the world our capacity, our power, our energy, and seeing them receive that energy and giving us positive feedback. I'll say that's been my favorite thing. That's been our favorite thing. <laughs> In five years time, I don't really know about us, but I want to see our act impacting lives. I want to see people with disabilities coming out to say, I have this dream, I want to live it. I, I want to do this for myself because I've seen people do it and they did well with it. That's what I want to see in five years time.
Thank you to everyone that supported us right from the beginning. Thank you to Ghana. The entire Ghana has been behind our back since day one. And we are grateful, super grateful to God, our families, everybody. Thank you so much. This means the world to us. We love you! <laughs>